Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth, and happy day after Christmas. A um, couple of videos I want to remind you about and tell you what just happened today. I think you'll be not impressed at all, as I'm not impressed at all. First, we saw this video where I had to leave work to drive 20 minutes to wrap my son Isaac's splint on his sprained, lightly fractured wrist because it had loosened up and the school would not attend to that. And they gave me a bunch of falsified reasons and BS of why they couldn't and why it's better for me to leave and all that. So we saw that. Um, and what you didn't see uh, before this video and the reason that I was videotaping was my first interaction with the school was with the superintendent and the bus manager. During, and it was over uh, bad behavior by my guys on the bus, and they, they were acting up, and they shouldn't have been doing that, and so we had a meeting on that. But the bus manager told me that he saw this himself, that he told the children he was applying for a job, and that was his reason on the bus. And instantly I knew why my son, especially Joseph, did not respect him. He used a lie to control the behavior of children. And that's not how I want my children managed. And that's ineffective. This man seemed to think that nobody would know. He underestimated us. Um, Joseph sees right through lies. He has a sixth sense. And he may not even realize it. But he's not going to respect you if you're lying. And I'm going to, and I told the superintendent, from that moment forward I would be uh, recording all interaction with the school because I know that the first administrator I dealt with used lies to control the behavior of children. So it's reasonable. Okay, uh, in my mind, tell me if I'm wrong, um, but I'm not going to lie to my kids to control their behavior. No, I'm not going to, and I'm not going to allow anybody else to lie to my children to control their behavior. If you don't have the skills necessary to control my children's behavior, then they need not be in your system, is how I think about it. Because I've been controlling their behavior for nine years, and they're good kids. I mean, they do stuff. Yeah, they do kid stuff. They do teenage stuff now, uh, but they're, you know, I don't, I don't lie to them to, to achieve that. So then we saw this with the th uh, basically threatening letter or, or at least the letter that said they're going to rip away my constitutional right to record and document meetings. So I can't have meetings uh, with the school unless I give up one of my constitutional rights. In between both of these, I got a call from Department of Human Services in Maine. The school had made accusations that I wasn't attending to Isaac's wrist in time, in a timely fashion or, pro or properly, which was not true. Um, I got a call from DHS, and I was pissed off because that's harassment from the school through DHS. And I fully informed the man of the situation and told him that I would not allow that harassment and I would not have a meeting. And if he felt that he needed to have a meeting or there was reason to believe my child was in harm's way to obtain a warrant, that was about three weeks ago. Now, the claim is that Isaac's arm isn't being attended to. First of all, three days, two, three days after the call with DHS, we were able to get the appointment uh, went to the doctor that was recommended for Isaac. He took the splint off and told him to go play basketball. Uh, it was more of an extreme sprain, mild fracture, and that's what I heard at the emergency room, and we knew that it probably wouldn't need a cast from day one. But, of course, the school, even though they don't have the ability to wrap a splint, they know more than I do about my son's medical needs. So I informed DHS, but just moments ago, the sheriff showed up, asking permission for this cat from DHS to come have a meeting with me. So DHS now is circumventing the law. Did not receive, re attain a warrant, called the local sheriff, said, I think I might have problems. Will you go over and ask if it's okay? We're going to see this guy must be stupid like everybody else. We're going to get in there without a warrant because we're going to do whatever the hell we want to do. No, fail. And I did remind the sheriff that although he was unaware of the situation, that he did help them circumvent the law and that he knew they should have obtained a warrant. The sheriff, uh, I believe his name's Michael, 
admitted to me in front of another witness that yes, he should have told DHS to obtain a warrant. And they came anyway. But they left as well. I'm not going to be harassed. You're not going to violate my rights. In School Administrative District 72, you are probably a word away from a major lawsuit on several levels. Now, in all fairness, I will say with my middle son, we saw the other videos that he could not be managed by the other school system. He is doing awesome at Molly Ockett. So this is, this is uh, hard for me um, because one son is doing so well there, but on the other side of it, in relation to another son, we've, we've come under attack, and it's okay to lie to us, and it's okay to circumvent the law, and it's okay to, to negate our constitutional rights. I'll praise you for working well with Joseph, but I'm going to come straight up your ass for violating my rights and using my children to manipulate this family and to hide your lies. You guys go back on these videos. They'll be linked below if you haven't seen them. And um, if you have this issue in any town, in any place in this country, and you need somebody to, not that I can legally advise you, but... I'll be glad to help you through it or at least connect you with the people that do have the authority or the license on the wall. Or if you just need an advocate, I'm happy to help in this situation and advise you like a friend. So anyway, that's the situation. Day after Christmas, continued attacks from the local school and DHS has decided to jump on the bandwagon and try to circumvent the Constitution as well. I did just put a call into Julie McShane. Uh, she's with the Portland DHS office. She's a program administrator. Of course, she's not available today. But I did make a request for all documentation related to this case. I gave a firm warning that a legal suit will be filed if this harassment continues. And I believe the man, Jeremy, who ignored my warning to get a warrant before he ever came to my house, I want his name and number two his full name. I didn't write it down that day and I didn't record that conversation because I was on the cell phone. Uh, but anyway, that's where it is. Much love. Many thanks. And, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't try this with me, you people. You people that submit to a corrupt system of any sort or, or, or blind. Maybe it's not intentional. Maybe you're all so dummied down that you can't see past your own hand. But again, you picked the wrong guy. Much love. Many thanks, and I'll see you soon.